Good evening and welcome to the Simply Colorful Fibercast. Today's date is January 8th, 2016. My name is Lynn Marquardon and I'm your host. Hi everyone, happy Friday and happy Friday Fibercast. And look at what I wanted to show you. These were planted on December 19th and they're already blooming. Aren't they pretty? They're starting to smell too, they're beautiful. I just noticed that and I wanted to share it with you. So we have winter paper whites. And thank you, Mom. Welcome, everyone. Grab a project. Today, as in every Friday Fibercast, we're going to see what we can get done in 60 minutes. And today, what I have planned is to go over our new mystery quilt, the colors, and talk about contrast. And then we're going to get back into our scrappity doo da quilt, one of my UFOs for the year. And then next week, we're going to get right into the mystery quilt. So I hope you're going to play along with us. It's a baby quilt or a lap quilt. So first things first, let's move those over a little bit. And let's talk scrappy, not scrappy, let's talk mystery quilt. It's called Oh Baby Baby. And the preparation phase is just literally two pages. It's on the Simply Colorful Mystery Quilt Along page, as well as on simplycolorful.com. And what it has, I just wanted to show you my colors. It tells you how to pick your colors. This quilt is not so much a scrappy quilt, although it could be altered to be somewhat less formal by using one scrappy uh, fabric of the five fabrics. So. But I did not, but I'll show you where you could use scraps. I'm making it in two colorways. One is pink and one is blues, a boy and a girl. And these fabrics I got at Sophisticated a few months ago. They are not sort of the newest fabrics, but they are good quality fabrics. And they're a few years old, but it's what I could afford. And I like the colors. They may not be quite trendy or on trend. But that's okay. They, they're going to make beautiful quilts to be used. So let's see what it says. So the finished size of this quilt is only going to be 44 inches by 56 inches. Again, you can use literally a crib size roll of batting when we're all done. And what you need are five fabrics and then a backing. So let me show you the blue first. Fabric A is the lightest color. I used white. You need a yard of that. Fabric B is a medium. Oh, and I told myself. Yeah. I have these all. I cut out little pieces and I put it on my color chart. But of course, I don't have my color chart with me. But this is fine. Okay, B is a medium color, five-eighths of a yard of that. You see that? C is a dark. There's my dark. I needed a whole yard and an eighth of that. So make sure you like that color. The second medium, I went with that, and I needed, again, five-eighths of a yard. And then finally, the second dark, I needed three-eighths of a yard, and I went with a little purple. So those were my five colors, A, B, C, D, E. And then I got them to match this backing, which I just love. Isn't that pretty? And the backing is, this is a Royal Retro Amy Shaw Wilmington Prints. I wonder if it has the date. I love when fabrics have the date on them. Don't you? Okay, anyway, I don't see a date. So that's my blue color way. And again, it's not very babyish, so it may be more like a lap quilt, but that's okay. I liked those colors together. So that's one. The other one, the pink, let's do that again, the A, B, C, D, E. So again, my A is this white. This is what you could use and do scrappy. Instead of using white, you could do different neutrals 
or you could do different blacks. Whatever you decide A is going to be, that can be scrappy. And that's probably giving you a clue. Okay, B is medium. And compared to white, this is medium. But it's pretty, it's pretty, it's a light medium. So that's B. I needed five eighths of a yard. C, the dark. Isn't that pretty? Dark pink. I needed one and an eighth yard of that. My second medium is D. And then my final dark, my second dark, is this one. And then my backing is more like a kid's fabric. And again, the front is matches this. And I love this. It's little kitties. I don't know if you can see it from there. And let's see who the designer is on this one. Like I say, sophisticated for two ninety nine a yard, good cottons, or three ninety nine. This is Andover Fabrics. And uh, let's see, Rick Rack Rabbit by Marissa and Creative Thursday for Andover Fabrics. I like it, Rick Rack Rabbit. So those are my two colorways. I hope you have fun. I've heard from some of you saying that you were having fun picking out colors. That's what this mystery quilt's all about. I hope you'll join us. Okay, so that is the mystery. And as always here on Fibercast, if you want to share what you're working on, post your pictures on the Simply Colorful Facebook page, post them on the Google Hangout, Simply Colorful, or send me a email at lmarquadant at gmail.com. So, remember last week we started making the Scrappity Doodah quilt. I, isn't that fun? It occurred to me that maybe I didn't show you all this last week. I was so busy just seeing if it would work, and I'm loving it. And if you didn't see last week, I want to show you how many squares we have. I counted them, or I estimated. I only need 440 of these to make a big quilt, like a, a very full, maybe even a queen size. I think I have about 600 of these. So I could make two smaller quilts, or we're just I'm just going to keep going. Because I have all of these squares that I have to cut in half, and then add in all of the strips. And thank you for the tips. I'm going to cut the strips so that they they only are like the eight inches so that I can just do string piecing through this. And we'll get to that in a second. And this is a scrappity doodah quilt from McCall's. McCall patterns from many years ago. Now, I hope you'll indulge me. Before I get to that, tomorrow I am teaching a paper clay shoe making class at my doll club. And I'm not going to make any shoes right now, but I have one little chore that I just have to get done. And I thought that I could do it right here, right now, because Fibercast is just all about what we can get done in 60 minutes. Ooh, that made a lot of noise. I'm going to bring these tools so that people can use them. But I also want to see about marking them so that I know they're my tools. So I'm just going to put a little piece of the red tape on them, and I think that should work. And they will probably forever have this red tape for years to come. For, and I will look back and think, okay, January uh, 9th, because that's tomorrow, when I taught how to make paper clay shoes for dolls, I had to mark my tools. And I tell you, I will have them forever. This one is from college. I finally, now that I have my studio cleaned up and I have a thing for a place for everything and a thing for every place, I'm loving it. I don't think I'm going to have to go to the store for years if I didn't want to. There, there, there. 
I hope everyone had a good week back at the office. I was feeling pretty good this afternoon knowing that I got through the first full week of the new year. Woo! Midweek it was I was tired. That's going to work great. This way I'll come home with my favorite tools. We have about 15 in my textile tarts group and as I say we're going to make little shoes. They're literally going to be that that big, maybe an inch inch long and an inch high. Boot type shoes. Oh, hello. And um, what was I going to say? So they're made out of paper clay. And so I have made several of them at different phases. And I've written out five steps to make a shoe. I don't know how I got roped into this. Oh, hello everyone. I'm going to get to you in one second. I, at the beginning of our textile tarts year, so September, you know, we all go away for the summer, but then we got back together and we decided that we would entertain each other. So we all picked a month and a topic. And we, or first, I think we put out the topics of what we wanted to learn. Like I wanted to know how to make a doll that stands up on its own. So Pat, I think, is going to teach us about armature and that. And so every month we're learning something new. One other month we're going to learn how to make doll hair. And I got the shoe. So that's what I'm doing. And I promise I'm going to sew soon. Let me see who's out there. I love hearing the dings. Hey! Have I told you lately how much fun this is? I love that you're out there. Oh, oh, hello. Here's a picture of Allie, our dog. This afternoon, Mike, Mike, our brother-in-law, so that's Allie, he came into the house, must have dropped off his um, music gear. The dog didn't even stir. Mike texted me this picture. I know she's hard to see. She's an old girl. She might hear me. She might be coming up. But you've heard me talk about her. Okay, so there's Allie. Allie girl. Oh, Karen. Oh, Karen is out there. Hi, KB. In Pennsylvania. And she has sent us the picture of her fabrics. She says, that's going to be a whopper of a quilt and so good for actually using it. Oh, this one. I know. I know, I, I cut this out. It had to be five years ago, and it's so pretty. I'll make you one. There's enough for two quilts here. And then Karen says, congratulations on completing the week, and she has sent us the picture of her fabrics. Oh, it's like French Provincial. Can everyone see those? Oh, Karen, those are beautiful colors. That's going to work beautifully. And I love the daisies, the one bigger print. Love it. Yay. Send, send or post your pictures of the, the fabric you're going to use. Remember last year, the two-color delight? That was fun to see. So many of you finished it. Oh, Beth. Hi, Beth. Beth has sent us a picture. She says, I'm working on another gray and purple border on this quilt below. Enjoying watching you tonight from cold, wet South Carolina. Oh, I know. And it's going to be kind of a cold, wet weekend, isn't it? Isn't it a perfect time to quilt without any guilt? Oh, I love that. Can people see that? Oh, thank you for sending that in. Oh, I love how you've done that. Oh, my goodness. Look at the nine patches inside and the applique. Oh, your work is so nice. And it's tiny. I like the scale. I'm into tiny lately. Oh, Lorna. Lorna from Upland has written in, and she says she's so looking forward 
to Fibercast. She says, hello and happy new year to everyone. She said, it's been over two weeks that I've been able to watch you live. Well, welcome, Lorna. I hope you've had a good holiday. She woke up to snow-covered mountains, and they're beautiful. And she's organizing her sewing room using my new dry iron that hubby got me from the Vermont Country Store. <sighs> new sewing pattern he made. New sewing pat he made. And putting my fat quarters in my new Ikea cart. How did hubby know what I needed? <laughs> you taught him well, Grasshopper. Oh, is that beautiful, Lorna. Look at the snow-covered mountains. Oh. oh, that is beautiful. Oh, and look, there are leaves on the trees even. I think that's so funny when you see the leaves on the trees. Oh. Well, Happy New Year, and I'm glad you're back. And what is this? So I missed it. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, there's your iron. Do you remember Karen and I were talking about irons when she was here last? And, oh, that looks like a good one. I bet it's nice and heavy. KB, maybe you should try that, the Vermont store, Vermont country store. Oh, look at your cart. Anyway, I gave Karen one of the irons that Joanne Fabrics had on sale before Christmas. So she's trying that one. We'll see how that goes. Oh, thank you, Lorna, for sharing those. Oh. Oh, my goodness, Patty Bannister. How are you, my sunbonnet girl from Texas? Oh, she says, hi. Just a note to say I'll catch you later tonight. She's working on hand quilting her king size bow tie quilt. Do you, I remember when you were working on piecing that. My goal for this year is to quilt all the tops I have pieced. Good for you. Tonight is family dinner night. My mother-in-law, my mom, and my father-in-law are all in, oh, in poor health, so I really need to be with them as much as possible. You, absolutely. She says, keep up your good work, Patty in Texas. Oh, Patty. That's hard, but I'm glad you're you have time with them. That's what it's all about. And I, I hope or I think maybe you were with grandchildren at Christmas time. Hopefully that was good, and uh, and that now you're enjoying being home. Well, whenever you see this, hello, hello from Fibercast Nation. Everyone's out there, and we say hi. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Um. Several of you wrote in, oh, the studio tour. This is what I meant to tell everyone last week. So keep on sending in or sending pictures. I'm going to keep cutting this. Remember two weeks ago, or was it just last week? Yeah, it was just last week. No, two weeks ago I promised a bit, uh, studio tour. Last week on New Year's Day, I actually decided that I couldn't really take the PC and walk it around the room. So instead, I took a video with my phone, and I posted it on YouTube. And of course, I put ads on it, so bear with that. There are going to be a few overlay ads. But it's like two and a half minutes you can see my studio. So that's that. It's nothing grand, but it is now a little bit more organized, and so I'm enjoying it a lot more. So I wanted to tell you that. A few of you wrote afterwards and said, what about the studio tour? And someday when we get the technology where we can have multiple cameras around, we'll look at it again. Or other people's studios. That's the other thing. Going to Missouri Quilt Star, Missouri Star Quilt Company, February 4th. Six of us are going. So we go out on Thursday. It's a slumber party retreat at one of Jenny's, at, at Jenny Dome's shop. There are, last I looked, there were a couple of spots, so if anyone wants to join us, that would be great. And we are going to go out and sew and see Hamilton, Missouri. And um, I'm excited. We're excited. <coughs> we have Debbie from the West Coast, excuse me, is going to meet us there. Chris, Jean, Kelsey, and my sister KB, and me. So... That is exciting, and just pray for no snow. 
Of course, I didn't think of that because I'm used to traveling, and you just travel no matter what. Sometimes you spend a lot of time in the airport. But um, pray that we don't have snow so that we can have a nice uneventful trip out and back. But anyway, it's going to be an adventure. We've rented a minivan out there. And like I say, if anyone else wants to meet us out there or go out there, come aboard. Okay. That shore is done. And if I had an elastic band, I'd put it around it, but I don't. So I'm just going to put this over here and let, let's get sewing. That's what fiber cast is about. That was not fiber. All right, my machine's on. I'm going to pick four and make another cross. Okay. I'm going to move that out a little bit. There we go. You can see the paper white, but then you can see the sewing. Oh, this is fun. Umbrellas. See, I'm doing it totally random, but I don't know if I should. Oh, isn't that pretty? Green and yellow. I think I'm supposed to just really mix it up. There's a green, darker green. And then here's a lighter blue. What I've been doing is making sure that I have contrast in each square. So now that I've picked those four, oh, and this is my backing, by the way, which I just also love. Isn't that pretty? Rolling Hills. I got this at Sophisticated five years ago. 2009. That's seven years ago. But maybe it was a few years old when I got it sophisticated. It's by Julia Cairns for Quilting Treasures, www.quiltingtreasures.com. And I just love it because it has the greens, the yellows, and the blues. So that's going to be the backing. Anywho, okay. So now with that, we have to pick, you know, these are too, too similar in size of print. So I'm going to put that yellow there instead. And then here's a very dark blue. And again, I'm going to hope you can see this. I'm going to do that. And then I guess I'm going to do a green there. That's an old fabric. My goodness. Whew. And then let's see. Let's do a light yellow. My scrap, the strips are going to become messy. Ooh, that looks neat. Kind of different. There's that. And then. Hmm. There we go. That's kind of neat, too. Okay. Oh, and I love this. Because I have to cut my squares in half. Okay, so now that I've done my color plan, I'm literally, because it's a scrap quilt, I must say I did a pretty good job cutting out the original squares. I'm proud of myself. I'm going to cut all four of them at the same time. Assuming, of course, that I have, I'm sure I do, my rotary cutter. My goodness, what a fiber cast. We have not struck up the sewing machine yet. Hmm, all right, we're going to do a different method then. We're going to go the old fashioned method and draw and cut. That's too bad. 
but it's very doable, and I'm going to do four in a row. See this? Yes, it will move, shift a little bit, but that's okay. Good enough for government work. All right, so now I'm ready to uh, string piece. I mean, flag piece. Let's move this away. Okay. So I'm literally going to do all four on one side, and then I'll turn it over. That should work. Hello, baby machine. Still sewing my left foot. Knock on wood, I took another walk today. Ooh, and my heel doesn't hurt that bad. It still does in the morning, but we're moving in the right direction. Okay. Now, of course, I have to remember this one had the green, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's so nice to hear from folks out there. Okay, and then we'll do, I should be showing you this. I'm going to put that together, the green and the yellow. Let me move my iron to make sure that it's getting hot. Really? Can you believe these files? Yahoo! When we go out to Missouri, we're not, most of us, or I think maybe all of us, aren't bringing our sewing machines. We're renting a sewing machine there, which is great. You don't have to bring anything on the plane. And it's $10. It was nominal. We're spending so much to get there anyway. What's $10? But um, what I might do is, because I don't have to bring my machine, I might actually bring this project with me. Wouldn't that be good? To make a lot of headway. And of course, the mystery quilt will be wrapping up about that time. <coughs> so I'll be working on that. If I, if I can broadcast from there on Friday night, that's what I'll be working on. And we'll just go from there. Okay, now i turn over, because I wanted to start from the other end. And if you'll, you remember, we trim these up. So as long as I eyeball the squares lining up, it's fine. I'm supposed to trim it to a 5-inch square, but until last weekend, I didn't have a 5-inch square ruler. So I was doing it 6 inches, and I was having enough fabric. So, you know, it'd be a shame not to keep it at 6 inches if I can. But now, thanks to my Joanne coupon for 60% off last week, I got myself a 5-inch ruler. Boy, I hope... Michael's or Joanne's has paper clay tomorrow morning. Don't you know I'm teaching this class and I have the lesson plan, I have a cut out little square wooden blocks and I have dowels in them and that's what we're going to build the shoe around. That's all set, they're all in bags. But of course I haven't gotten the clay. I'm giving everyone a little square of clay. So hopefully Tomorrow morning, I can swing by Michael's on my way to the library. That's where we meet, the library. It's great.
Believe it or not, we had another two cord of wood delivered. Going through wood quite quickly. Which is surprising because it was a mild December. But then again, I don't think we've been turning on any of the heat. We're just doing the wood. Can you tell the heat is my husband's department? <laughs> but we have a nice little routine. I, I go to bed earlier than he does. So I go to bed. Then he, when he goes to bed, he stokes the fire. The, it's a wood-burning stove, the stove. Then I get up earlier in the morning with the dog, and with any luck, there are still some coals, and my first chore is to put more wood in. I'm sure you guys do that, too. And it's nice. Usually. What I don't like is when the coals go out, so I have to make a fire, and there's no kindling. I'm... That's when I, I want someone else to help me. Isn't that pretty? Mm. That's when I want to be at Keswick Hall down in Virginia, where they have big old fireplaces. And they have someone coming around. Ooh, I have to remember which goes where. So that's pressed out. This needs to press in. They hire someone to put the wood in this, the big fireplaces. It's lovely. That's a pretty one. So that will go there. And then this one's over here, so it has to press out. And then this one presses in. I'm sorry you can't see this. I should raise this up maybe. Okay. Have I said that before? Betty, if you're out there, good luck with your shoulder surgery. I liked getting your email the other day. All right, so see that? We have four of them ready to go. Now, because I don't have my rotary cutter here, I'm going to put this aside and I'm not going to sew it together tonight. So I'm just going to do another one. But isn't that neat? It's going to be great. So there's one. Not very satisfying for you guys, but Let's play with more color. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Very light. Blue. Some of these fabrics are so old. Like that one. That's going to be from like the 80s. And yet some of them are not old. Ah, oh, but some of them are old repros. See the 80s? I mean the 30s? Hmm. I don't like these two together because they're too dotty. So I think I will change that up. Oh, stripey. Stripes are always good. Here, I'm going to put that there and that there. Look at how these three are such light value and this one's dark. But that's okay. Really is okay. Because look at that. We'll lighten that one up. And then 
Ooh. Ooh, this is really cool. Check this out. We'll darken that one up. Oh, I wish you could be here and play in my scraps with me. Look at that yellow. And let's see. Mmm, that's pretty. Might not be... No, see how that kind of blends in too much? There's not enough contrast there. Even though the fabrics are different. So I'm going to take that away. And here we go. That's better. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. We have those, those, those. This is almost as good as string piecing. And again, I'm just going to pile them up one on top of the other. Who is playing the Powerball? Oh, you are. Who's there? Oh, it's my work tweets. You know how I, I market technology into government, basically. Government employees are starting to use Twitter, as are we all, right? And so we've started to communicate with them through Twitter. And I find really good engagement in the evenings and weekends. That's how we're all so tied to the phone. And that's when, you know, you're maybe you're getting the oil changed in the car and you're waiting in the sitting room. What are you conditioned and brainwashed and addicted to doing? Checking the social networks, checking your mail. So it's really amazing. Now hopefully I can remember. Yeah, I think it was this this one. Anyway, I got the that noise was someone out there read what I had Oh, so I schedule my tweets for the week, and I schedule them for weekends and evenings. So someone, I must have, <laughs> my, my automatic scheduler must have sent out a tweet, and someone just read it and either liked it or forwarded it to someone else. Oh, and guess what I did? New Year's Day. I'm kind of proud of myself. I learned how to Instagram. Easy. And I learned how to Snapchat. Oh my goodness. Fun, fun, fun. Do you guys Snapchat? What a riot. You get an account, you get a little app, you put it on your phone. It's free. And then you can either take a still picture or a little video. I think 15 seconds. KB, is that right? 15 seconds might be the max. And then... You can adorn the video with um, emojis, or you can write on top of it, or you can draw on it. And then you send it to your friend who can watch it once, and then it disappears. It's wonderful. It's a great way to share kind of something silly that you're doing in the moment, like um, <laughs> Bob isn't convinced, by the way. I should say that much. He, but I think he's going to put it on his phone because it's fun. You know, if you're somewhere kind of cool, like at a sporting event or like you're out walking and you just want to share a beautiful view, you can Snapchat it. It's really fun. Okay. 
And you know, these blocks are so big, they're going to go together. This quilt is going to grow very quickly. And this is the type of quilt that we're going to use. I can see it. Right now, I have Celtic Solstice on the back of our couch in the living room. And it has flannel on the back, and I love that. And part of me is fine if it wears out, because that's what quilts are for. But then part of me thinks, those were really little squares on that Celtic Solstice mystery from two years ago or three years ago. Maybe I should be using more of a utilitarian quilt. But then again, OK, so now I turn that over. And I twist my flag around. And we're back at it. So this is a good way to do four at, at once. Oh, I know what I, an announcement I have. Good friend of mine from Marathon Quilters has published a new book on quilting tips. I'm going to post the link on Simply Colorful, and you can take a look for yourself. Really useful. Her name is Dawn Stewart. And if it's easy to look up, I'll tell you the name of the book right now. So that you can look at it, look for it if you're in front of a, a tablet right now or your PC. Okay, here it is. So this is Dawn Stewart's new book. It's called 300 Plus Quilting Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. It's available as a Kindle book on Amazon. Again, Dawn Stewart is the author, S-T-E-W-A-R-T, -E and the book is called 300 Plus Quilting Tips, Tricks, and Techniques. I'll post that on both Simply Colorful and on the Facebook page. And if any of you have books that you've written or things that you want to share, let me know. We're a community. Let's, you know, part of me, I've spent some time thinking about, as you know, thinking about how this new communication medium is changing the way we digest information, how we connect, little micro markets, how the network has become the market, yada, 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 yada. Part of it's exhausting. I just want to enjoy doing the quilting. And if you guys want to too and you want to share something, go for it. Can you tell it's the first week back to work? Yikes! How did you all do? I kind of veered off here, so I'm going to do this one again. I wasn't really being very good at staying on my quarter inch. Boy, I love this machine. Oh, my friend Jean, whom I talk about a lot, because she does cool things, she has a singer in her garage. It's a 1280. Nice cabinet. All the plumbing is there, if you will, even the manual. I looked it up. I didn't see any for sale on 
eBay. I saw a manual for sale for like seven dollars, and but I didn't see any twelve eighties on eBay. And I think I looked, and I want to say it was made in the seventies, maybe. There's definitely plastic, but there's also some metal too. That's a good one. I like how the the rows keep continuing. They're off a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so this was here. I need to remember which was which so that I can press it correctly. Okay, that was there. This was there, and this was there. Okay, so out and out. As you may remember from last week, these two, I'm pressing the center seams out so that it's out. In fact, I'm going to do that. And then the other two diagonals, I press in. And then when you sew the four together, the nesting is beautiful. So there's that is out. These two are pressed out. Okay, and then this one and the other one. So who's going to do the Oh Baby Baby Mystery Quilt? And believe me, I understand if you don't. You know that. Patty in Texas, you have your hands full with your hand quilting. So I know you're not doing the mystery. Not to mention you are with your parents. Okay, so that one I have ironed in. And I know several of you did the sampler quilt. Wasn't that fun? We get a lot of requests for that pattern. Right now, that's also on the Simply Colorful website. We might turn that into just one file instead of several. But I have to talk to the designer, see if she approves that. OK, so these two are pressed in. And now that's another four patch, right? OK, so I'm going to put that aside. Yay. Do we have time? Oh, do we have time for one more? Oh, this is pretty. These fabrics are just so fun. There's a pretty blue turquoise. Maybe now I'll use the 30s yellow. No, 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 too dark. I should just do this randomly, but it's hard not like that. It's a bright yellow. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, it's another umbrella fabric. Oh. I think that's the same one we used. Ooh, and I just saw a pretty blue. Here we go. The guys are in the basement playing music. Can you hear them? They have missed it. It's been two weeks. There we go. Do, do, do. I think I'm going to do this and this. Okay. Now let's find some contrast. There we go. Hmm. It's kind of okay. That'll work. Is ugly fabric. <laughs> it's 
Christmas trees. But good contrast, right? That's what we want. Oh, here we go. Ooh, making a mess. But look at that. Isn't that gold good? Yay! So fun. Okay, let me see if anyone else is out there before I start sewing. Hey, Mark Hay. Hi, Mark Hay. Speaking of machines and the Singer 1280. She says, hello, Lynn and Fibercast members. Hope everyone is having a great Friday night sewing or whatever you may be doing on this January night in 2016. She says, it's been a very nice week here, and since Christmas, New Year's, and other commitments, I've not been sewing very much. And she says, I'm hoping to change all that now that my days are getting back to normal. That's good. Us too. She said, a funny story for you. Oh, Marquet, we love stories. So here's Marquet's story. She says, I have a new guy in my life. Maybe you saw his picture. Now, I know you're going to laugh when you read the next line, and it is okay. I am laughing with you as I write this. Ha! <laughs> I am reading. I am laughing. His name is Rocket88, a.k.a. Rocky. I did see that picture. Because Marquet has a new singer that she's named Rocky. It's a 1955 singer, 1588. He was made on October 21st, and my birthday is October 26th, 1962. So he is a little older by seven years. Oh, that is awesome. Rocky. And when I saw him, my heart skipped a beat, says Marquet. He was sitting in a very sleek but stylish brown metal vehicle with beautiful women wooden trim. And he was wearing a coat of black with gold accents that seemed to shine underneath his rugged exterior. <laughs> I could not wait to take him home for a ride, but I was playing not to get but I was planning not to get as I strolled past as though to not seem too easy. <coughs> Let me say that again. Well, you've made my Friday night. I, I, I was planning not to get it, but then as you strolled past, it seemed not too easy to go by. Anywho, she says, I hope I've made everyone's Friday night. You have. Interesting to say the least. I guess we both won. Here is this picture. Have a great weekend, Marquet. Oh, my. Oh, and look at you working on your tumblers. Can everyone see that? Wow. And he sews well. Oh, he's beautiful. Oh, you've even got the red felt for where the the thread goes. Oh, Marquet. Thanks for sending that. Maureen in PA, Happy New Year. She says, I hope you'll post lots of photos of Missouri quilt star quilt. I'm jealous, says Maureen. We will. I definitely definitely we will. We'll try to overdo it. And you can say enough. Ooh, Beth, she says, seriously, Missouri Star details, please. Well, Beth, it's on the Missouri Star quilt site. Look for the slumber party retreat. Starts February 4th. That's what we're doing. We're flying out from California, from Pennsylvania, from Boston, and we're all meeting up on Thursday. We're hopping in a van. We're driving to Hamilton. Uh, we might even have matching pajamas, although... I'm, I'm <laughs> I haven't talked to Karen about that. There's a there's a plan afoot, but Target is out of you know the pajama, the pink pajamas. They have the sewing machines all over them. Four of the six of us already have them. Two of us, as far as I know, KB. I don't know if you have them, but I don't have them. And Target is or Kohl's. No, Target. Target. Target is has low stock and you can't order them online so we're gonna have to get creative anywho that's the details Beth it's the cost is 350 I think 
we sleep in single beds up on the s elsewhere. I'm going to say second floor, but that's an assumption. And um, it's an adventure. We don't quite know. I think you can take little mini classes. Jenny Doan will come and give us a trunk show, so that's going to be fun. And of course, uh, there are lots of shops there that they have expanded into, and we hear that there is not a lot of duplication in each store, so it could be kind of exciting. So that's what we know, and we will definitely post pictures. Oh, Linda. Hi, Linda. She says, she on the Oh Baby Baby, Linda says, I love your color choices for the mystery quilt. She says, I'm working on an old UFO called Posy Patch. Must be 10 years old. This is my APQ January UFO project. You rock on. Good for you. I love that. And it looks like you have several of them done. Good for you. That's January. I have, well, I'm making project progress on this UFO. I've made progress on some of the others, too. I decided I'm going to put a picture of it each, each month. And like I said, I'm not going exactly as all people quilts um, tells me to. But that's awesome. It's going to feel so good at the end of this year to just have some things done. Might not be as exciting to watch because I won't have new fabric, but that's what it is. Who else? Cassandra, hi, out there. So nice to exchange, e Sandy, I mean. So nice to exchange emails with you and... Um, Let's see. Mickey. Oh, Lisa from beautiful west coast of Iowa. She says, hello. She says, she sent this on January 1st. I made a list of unfinished projects last summer. Needless to say, I also had no trouble finding 12. I know. That's the truth. In fact, I have my 12 in a pail underneath here that I pulled from last week. And then I realized when Fibercast was over that I had several that I hadn't even pulled out yet. So I'm just with you. I think I have 15 that I'm willing to tell you about right now. There are more. <laughs> um, oh, Nikki's the one. She said, uh, love the show tonight. Great doll. So pretty. And hey, weren't we supposed to get a tour of your craft studio? So yes, you were. And I sent Mickey the the link and as I say the link is on the Simply Colorful One channel on YouTube feel free to look at it again I put ads on it just kinda of for kicks to see how it goes it might be way too distracting so we can take those off but um, and it's it's rocky I took it literally with this camera so it's it's very raw anyway Mickey says my two daughters and I are going to make a trip to MSQC this summer Hope there are some B&Bs there. Only about a two-hour trip for us, though. We're waiting for a MSQC delivery right now. Darn post office sent it east for some dumb reason. Bummer. And she says she's looking forward to next week. Many blessings in the coming year. Well, Lisa, I hope you're out there. Thank you for such a nice note. Thanks for looking at the studio video. And on that note, I think our 60 Minutes are about up. I hope you have had fun. I hope you've accomplished something if you wanted to or just relaxed and and um, celebrated the fact that you got through the first full week of the new year 2016. I hope it's good so far. I know I'm having a great new year and it's it's due in large part to the fact that you're all out there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the flowers mom. Love them. The paper whites. Thanks KB for joining. Have a great week, everyone. I'll see you next week for the first week of our mystery quilt, Oh Baby Baby.